Hi, this is Isabel Litzler. So I wanted to make a quick video today. I had a session with a client yesterday on skills assessment and I thought some of the insights that came up would be helpful for people following my channel. So I wanted to share three tips today to help you, especially on job search techniques. This is something that people have a lot of questions about. So I hope after this video, you're a little bit boosted on your job search. So the first thing that you want to do is drop the job board. I know it sounds very harsh because you're used to them. It's comfortable. You go online, you search on job boards. It's not going to work for the Swiss market because you probably as an expat won't fit the strict requirements uh, 100%. I would probably say you probably won't fit 80% because of the languages and all the experience, etc. So the job boards are a bit of a waste of time. Now I understand that you want to look and I would say once or twice a week you can check. Maybe there's something interesting, especially uh, the job boards for English speaking jobs, but it's going to be very limited. So what you want to do instead is to understand your profile and really do the hard work, which is to understand what you have to offer. This is something that's going to be difficult to do on your own. And this is why I, I have courses and I have sessions that people can book with me because uh, with clients, I spend a lot of time. The thing that they can come up with, pot potentially their skills, maybe if they have the reflection to say, okay, these are my skills, but to take that, uh, say, okay, I'm good at uh, talking with individuals, selling or um, negotiation, to transform that into a Swiss job is going to be difficult to do on your own. So you need someone who knows the Swiss market and can tell you, okay, with these skills of negotiation, selling, uh, talking with people, etc., this is what you could do in Switzerland, or these are some of the jobs that are out there. And we talk about that together. So again, you're welcome to trans transform that yourself, make this connection between your skills and the market, but it's going to be very difficult to do. And unfortunately, Recruiters won't do that for you. And I understand that in the Anglophone market, recruiters are very flexible. They look at you as a person and they say, you know, this is what this individual has done. And I think they would be great in this job. They're very much easier on the transition part, but in Switzerland, it's not the case. So if you've done X, uh, that's it. You know, they're not going to look at uh, whether you could do Y and Z. So you need to do this work for yourself, transition that onto your resume, and then your resume becomes more marketable. So that's my first tip is to transfer your skills into something that's Swiss market ready, basically. The second thing is to come to Switzerland. I know I've said this before, but uh, the Swiss market is not very warm up uh, on the LinkedIn and uh, social media immediately necessarily, unless it's someone you met maybe before. So you definitely need to come. You need to show who you are. People need to trust you. They also need to see that you're serious about your Swiss job search. So if you're not in Switzerland yet, you know, book yourself on Eventbrite and Meetup. I will post the links below so that you can come and meet individuals in your field. I would uh, suggest I also have the lunch and network. This is really to boost people's uh, networks as well and to meet others in the same industry. So meeting people face to face will be so much easier for you. Uh, it's easier to sell than what you have to uh, offer to a company than trying to do it from far away and uh, without people knowing you. So that's number two. And number three is really to understand again uh, that uh, the skills that you have to offer the person that you are, no one knows this about you. So you need to really make this extra um, extra work, I would say. So for those of you who are in Switzerland already, it's a little bit easier to come to those events and to network. For people who are outside, I know it takes a little bit of an effort, but really this number, number three thing is to be out there as the go-to person. So you need to work on your profile. Your profile needs to match what it is that people see when they meet you. So they need to say, okay, this person is a reference in digital marketing and offer to volunteer. So if you have one thing to remember, if you're in Switzerland, try to volunteer because I've had people who did this for me recently. So now I know them. I would highly recommend them if someone asked me uh, because they showed me who they are and what they can deliver. A lot of people are just a sayers. They will say on their resume, they're great and that's their skills. And then you, you try them as an employer or you hire them and you realize they're not really qualified. So really showing your skills is the best thing. So show your profile, you know, build up your profile, make sure that it looks nice. Uh, this is work I do, of course, as well with clients and really volunteer. If you're in Switzerland already, offer your skills. 
uh, I would say if you need to uh, make your living, I don't necessarily want you to volunteer for six months or a year, but at least, you know, for example, people have volunteered for me one day, you know, one day sometimes you can meet a lot of connections. Uh, they can offer you a lot of tips, a lot of feedback as well. So I will post also links for volunteering uh, in Switzerland where you can offer your skills. If you're a young graduate, that's even better because it gets you a little bit also experience with the job market. So really my third tip is, is all about uh, people seeing you. So again, I have a webinar if you want to know more about the course that I offer. Uh, it's right below and, uh, and also the link to the course for those of you who are ready to jump in and want to boost their job search for the winter and just jump and, and do it. Again, it's all about the action. It's not about thinking about a project or wanting something. A lot of people say, I want a job. Wanting is not enough. Uh, you have to take the action. You have to invest in yourself and, and just do it. I have a lot of students right now in my course that have found jobs. Uh, one of them is getting interviews. I was very excited. I got the news yesterday with big companies. So again, it's the people that do make the uh, action, that do sign up for the course, you know, register and, and do the work. They will see the results, I can guarantee you. But if you're just watching videos, unfortunately, uh, it's going to be limited. So again, check the links below, uh, sign up for the course, and uh, also make sure that you like and you share the video for people who are looking for jobs as well in Switzerland. Uh, it's also helping the channel to grow so I can make more of an impact for expats looking for work in Switzerland. I will talk to you soon. Have a good weekend.